Venom War, issue number four. Back in the Grand Garden Arena, we see Spider-Man masking up as he goes to take on Bedlam. Ah, spare mask, I love you. None of these cameras caught my face, right? Bedlam, what do you think? Did they get my good sign? They will when I tear it off and throw it at them. So here's, I have an issue with that. Normally, I would love to hurry Krana with you and the big dumb face into the mat for the folks at home, but I just got a call. Someone is in trouble. Yeah, everyone's in trouble, but this someone is my responsibility too, and I don't have time for this fight, man. So, uh, can you be cool? No! Slam! Oi, like talking to a wall, this guy. Look like I tried being a reasonable customer here, okay? Two minds linked to mine. Two hearts beating. Perfect. Syncopation. Makes the dream work. Two hosts utterly in sync. We are, at last, a perfect family. Venom and Dylan take out Bedlam. Wham! Eddie Brock and his son Dylan have waged a war, of which of them should remain bonded to the Venom symbiote in an effort to prevent the dystopian futures. While battling out with Meridius, Zombiotes, Venom chose to return to his original host, Peter Parker, aka The Amazing Spider-Man. But just as the war was on the precipice of a more peaceful end, Dylan bonded with Flexo and Sleeper, found himself caught with Rascal in a proxy war between Doom and Kang the Conqueror. Dylan lost control of Flexo and was forced to shoot his father. Venom realizing he could save both rocks from death, detached with Spider-Man, linking Eddie and Dylan's minds together. For the very first time, they are Venom. But will that be enough to stop Meridius and Carnage? Venom War Part 4 A perfect family, aside from Ray's drunk uncle. Brock, you're dead! What? Which Brock's that? Eddie Heartbeats has no normal human can. A steady, her, a dark engine. Cause there's a lot of rocks here. Dylan's heart beats with all the power of a youth, a drum solo, including you. Maybe you're an old man. I'm so proud of him. We're so proud of him. Shoot! As they cut Bedlam's head off. His codex blade still has the power to separate symbiotes from the King of Black's Hive. Using it on Bedlam renders his own substance beyond his control, but still rages on. This won't stop me. We've been through a lot together, man. I don't want to kill you. Okay, Dad, let me do it. But what would that do to us? Ah! For all this madness, Bedlam is an any Brock that might have been. Die! Die! We cannot simply put him down like a dog. But luckily, we don't have to. Clark, slip! Sorry, am I interrupting? Dylan and Eddie feel my joy and accept it. Flash Thompson, more than any other, is a host who taught me how to be a hero, a soldier, in the fight against darkness. He died, only to be reborn through the anti-venom, the healing force to our destructive one, against a symbiote with no host. Die! Flip, flip. Anti-venom is as ruthlessly effective. With moments, Bedlam is rendered and not. And Bedlam is taken out by Agent Anti-Venom. Flash, good to see you, man. And I really do want to catch up properly, but I'm meeting out there, like right now. Spare a cup of venom for the road, guys. I am not comfortable splitting the symbiote over a long distance. That's fine, but I gotta get moving. Flash, you got this, right? Right. But Spidey, wait. Damn, he's already gone. I was going to warn him about the zombies. There are a lot more of them out there than there were. A lot more what? Yeah, back up, Flash. Zombies? What the hell are zombies? Boom! The arena's engulfed by zombies as they come to the stage and they infect the announcers with the zombie infection and they jump towards the symbiotes in the middle of the fighting stage. Let's go, boys! Those are zombies and they just broke in. Corpses wrapped in mindless symbiotes, dead host in the mind of Clintars, but mobile. Holy ah! Hungry! At least with collision of chemical K to free them from the hive of all of King. Black, but one. Out of the three of us, only I have seen anything even close. But through our bond, Eddie Dillon, I know all. Lee Price. Who? A scumbag who got a hold of the symbiote. He's dead now, or he was. A space vampire turned him into a zombie familiar. And then Meridius got his gooey hands on the creep. Figure he's a template for these things. It really is. Old home week for Venom host. Tell the rest, Dad. Tell him about Meridius. Dylan's anger flashes. 
in the pond. There are no more secrets. Dylan, we know Meridius told me about the absent throne. Meridius is the absent throne, the organization that hunted me from the start, that killed you in front of me, and on top of that... And we all know that Eddie knows too. Meridius is your dad, of course. He's you. Back at the Alchemex HQ, where the plans are made. Eddie Brock. That's your name, Meridius? Don't wear it out. My Zombiotes have reached the Grand Garden Arena, and Venom is waiting for both Venoms. The Symbiote learned to bond with more than one host, which is what I was always pushing it toward. So it's imperative I get it back now. But there's a complication, a wild card. Flash Thompson, it seems those with anti-venom can disrupt the Symbiotes. Sounds like you need a wild card of your own. Fortunately, I have the very thing, an all blood necrospear. Go on, Eddie, take it. Nice try, Carnage. I'm not that desperate. Not yet. Mistrusting is a brewing. The bond and fracture, psychic wounds reopening. All of this is you from the beginning, all of it. Jalen Bridge, Eddie's guilt in the face of it. Two hosts are already difficult to bond with at once. It's all I can do to keep my mind conscious from splitting apart. And the zombies keep coming. We're not careful. We're going to make a mistake. Dylan, no. Don't do it. Thap! What, Flash? They're zombies. They're hostages. The commentators were turned into almost instantly, but they're not dead. Which doesn't make it this easier. Toxin, take Sawbones. I got Crusher. Flash, these people can be saved, right? The live ones can. That's the good news. The bad news is they're a lot tougher than the dead ones. Blah! Reversa! They're fast, too. And even mindless, these things know how to fight. They can fight us, but they can't fight Meridius. And Dad is Meridius. Dylan, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything I did to make him possible. But he's just a walking what if. I'm not him. I'm not going to be him. I've literally moved to heaven and earth to not become that monster. I get it, Dad. But maybe you need to be a little bit like him right now. You're both kings in black, but he controls the zombies. So what can you control? And the idea forms in Dilla's mind, it passes to us all. But for its work, the bond cannot survive. Because if I stay alive, Eddie may not survive. Flash, I'm going to need you to trust me. I came here to finish this Eddie. If it stops the zombies, do it. Fair warning then, this is gonna hurt. Ah! The first iteration of anti-venom was formed of my residue and Eddie's white blood cells. Even later, anti-venoms are fundamentally part of Eddie's body, and the King in Black is what belongs to Eddie under his control, the symbiote of Flash. Even so, there is some Flash tops of DNA clinging, and Flash's soul, of course. But with the healing power of the anti-venom working from Flash's self-image, one can contain and isolate the other. Human, I'm alive. I'm alive. My treat. Then Eddie begins the real work. If I was still connected to any, this might destroy me. But Dylan, the Codex is not part of the King and Black's Hive and can remove symbiotes from it. His protection extends to me, the Sleeper, to Toxin. But all the symbiotes still under the King and Black's rule are touched by Antivenom. One by one, it seeks them out, a psychic healing wave radiating outward. And where it touches, it changes, freeing the living, letting the dead rest. And yet, I am wary, Meridius, the absent of throne. The master of the Garden of Time. He had plans upon plans within plans. Did he plan even for this? No! Brock got the damn anti-venom. He's king blocking me. And with it, given time, he'll free all the zombies and undo everything. Damn it, I was close. Such a shame. If only there was something you could do to... Shut up and give me the spear. But I had a whole speech ready about raw power and murderous desire. Yes, yes, I get the gist. And you bargain base it, Mephistopheles, it'll all end in tears. You think I haven't already lost my soul? You think I haven't waded through the ocean of blood? I know, I've fallen, Carnage, but this, with this, I can bring down heaven with me. Everything twists, our stomach drops, and with it, the sick inversion of what we thought we knew, like a fetid rotten blood poured into the milk. Ah! The healing wave becomes a carrier wave, drives something in back to the source. 
that had been perverted by a touch of the forge. Deep magic and deeper evil. Something red. Dylan understands instinctively. Carnage! It's carnage! Dad, you've got to fight it! Fight! Yes, fight! Fight everybody! The infection spreads fast. A dark alchemy mix of black and white, blood poison in the heart of the hive. If this corruption takes hold, fully it can end the universe. Dad, please stop! You have to stop! And time is up. Almost up. The moment upon us. A weight of destiny pinning us down. I'm so sorry. This would always have to happen. The Venom War could only end with the death of the King in Black. To be continued, let's see what happens on the next issue of Venom War number five.